Welcome back to Mystical Heart Tarot Readings. This is another update on our little Summer Moon Utah Wells. As seen through the eyes of a stranger with the help of spirit. I have some more questions on our little Miss Summer Moon Utah Wells. And I'm going to get started. These first two questions, I'm not sure. There are some astrology signs that I don't have for certain people that is involved. Or do I? I'm trying to remember. Let me look. Yeah, there are there are some signs I'm missing. Still. But that's okay. We're still going to ask these questions. The first two have separated out because it's two separate. This is questions regarding vehicles and it's two separate vehicles. And the first one is who owns the yellow vehicle? Who owns the yellow vehicle? So we know that most likely there's only one owner. And it's going to be somebody possibly under the sign of Cancer Scorpio Pisces. It, this does not tell me <coughs> The King of Cups tells me this is somebody that could be in a leadership position. Possibly. Somebody being watched or they are watching others. Two seahorses. Well, we know they don't belong to Dad, and we know I don't know what the young man's family drives. But it's possibly somebody under the sign of Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. And since I'm asking a similar question on a different vehicle, I'm not going to reshuffle the cards. It takes up too much time. Who owns the red truck. Well, that's somebody under the sign of Aquarius. Because that's the only sign the star card represents. So it's somebody under the sign of Aquarius. And as I said, there are people that I don't have astrology signs on. So let's move on to the next question. I know that didn't really seem like that answered the question because we don't have the astrology signs of everybody that's involved in this case.
let me ask a different question. The person that owns the yellow vehicle, where does that person work? Anything else? Where does a person work? So, the world card does not have an assi a sign associated with it. Five of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sag, and then the Pentacles is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I ask where this person works at. The world turned upside down. Underworld. They work in the underworld. And we all know what the underworld is. I'm not going to say it on YouTube. Undercover. Spirit just put that in my head. Undercover. Five of Wands represents conflict with their feelings. And the King of Pentacles is in reverse. Also conflict. Conflict. Job related conflict. clarify them, but I think I'm I think I'm pretty sure I know what that's saying. I don't like to be cryptic, but Let's clarify them. Clarifying the world card. We have the full in reverse, somebody that's careless. Somebody that's careless. Clarifying the Five of Wands. We have the Hangman in reverse. So somebody's fighting a change. And remember, this is conflict. Fighting change with their feelings. Now the King of Pentacles, let's clarify. And the last one we get is the King of Wands. So the King of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Wands. 
somebody that's passionate about their job. I'm going to move on to the next question because I feel like this is somebody that's well I don't want to say because I don't I know I'm sounding cryptic and I apologize but there's reasons for it. I'm going to move on to the next question. Next question being is how is the KOA campgrounds involved, if at all, if at all. I smell cigarette smoke. And it's not my vape because my vape doesn't smell like cigarette smoke. It smells like peach something. Peach mango or something. So the first card I get is the Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. broken relationship and neglect. Next is the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and there is quite a number of people under those signs. Now the next card is the Lover's card, Gemini. I have as of yet to find somebody under the sign of Gemini. And the last card is the Knight of Swords in reverse. So you see both swords are in reverse. The swords, like I said, represents Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we know that summer is Aquarius. The King of Wands, whoever that is, is strong, they're passionate. They have strong feelings. And the lover's card is about choices and decisions. So we're going to clarify these. And see what we get. Starting with the Ten of Swords, 
is clarified by the hermit in reverse. Somebody under the sign of Virgo, possibly. Mm, I'm looking for Virgo. I don't see a specific person under that sign. So, the hermit in reverse, so we are looking at misunderstandings and conflict. Somebody is there may have been a misunderstanding or a conflict and there's a lot of communication here. Summer's card this could be Summer's card that reflects a lot of communication. First, the hermit is moving forward or he's staring out at the sun and the moon at the same time. Now the king of wands. is clarified by the Six of Wands of victory for the King. The Lover's card. Is clarified by the King of Pentacles. Pentacles being Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Well, we know Mom and Grandma are Taurus. And we know the flute player is Capricorn. And now the Knight of Swords. Knight of Cups in reverse, Cups being Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, moving away from the situation. Now the question was how does the KOA campgrounds involved? They possibly could have been at the campgrounds. There could have been a meeting at the campgrounds. There's a lot of people that fall under the, the this particular set of cards. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's a lot of people uh, that I have found. How... I don't know how, unless there was some sort of meeting there that took place there. Because we, the Queen of Pentacles could also represent the campgrounds. Because remember, Pentacles represents materialistic things, the campgrounds is a materialistic thing. But there could have been a meeting there of some sort. I'm going to ask a who question, which I don't 
intend to necessarily clarify those cards. And I know I've asked, I'm sure, previous videos, but I'm going to ask again. I'm going to ask it in a specific way, and you'll have to excuse my husband's going to come walking through that door any minute now, so the dogs will probably start barking. Just a little warning. So, who is with Summer physically currently who is with Summer currently physically well Who is with Summer? Currently, where she is located at. So I have Summer's card on the board. Summer. Here I have. This is Summer. Right here. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Somebody under the sign of Capricorn. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now. As I said a few minutes ago, I smelled cigarette smoke, so we're going to find out. Scorpio is a smoker. Is he visiting her at her location? Sorry, my dog knocked a fan down. have Summer here, Aries Leo Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Now my question was, who is currently with Summer physically at this moment. And there's Summer right there. And 
another question. Why can't summer be found? So we get the King of Pentacles in reverse again. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Mom, Grandma, and the flute player. Three of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Strength card next. Leo. Somebody under the sign of Leo. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune represents change. Why can't we find someone? Are they moving her? Is whoever is responsible for her disappearance, is she being moved? This could be Summer's card. And I've already told you who this could be. Leo. We have two people under the sign of Leo that I'm aware of. I mean, there is other people out there that I don't have signs of. But I've got quite the list. But I ha do have two people with Leo. One is the young man's mother. And the other one is the young man that's been holding the prayer vigils. King of Pentacles. Clarify. We get the King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm going to move on to the next one. We know who that is, too. Three of Swords. two cards for this one. We have the King of Wands upright and we have the Page of Swords in reverse. So we're clarifying the Three of Swords. 
it's being clarified by the King of Wands and the Page of Swords in reverse. King of Wands, as I said, there's numerous people under those signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Page of Swords in reverse has a challenge, possibly in thoughts and communication. And now we have the strength card. We're going to clarify that. I can't make this stuff up. Capricorn. And I'm sure that this Leo knew the Capricorn because they both went to the same church. So let's do the Wheel of Fortune. Is she being moved around? Is that why they're... Is that why we got the Wheel of Fortune? And look at that. That's the star card. That's, that's Summer's card in reverse. I believe the reason she can't be found is because she has been moved around. The Wheel of Fortune represents change. What's change? Change of scenery, change of location. And blatantly, her card is there. I cannot make this up. I believe the reason that they cannot find her is because they kept moving her. Whether they are still moving her, I don't know. But she was being moved. And you can see the people involved. The next question is a who question, so I'm not going to clarify it. Who is the smoker that visits her where she's currently located?
Hmm. Anybody else? So the first card we pulled on this who question doesn't have an astrology sign assigned to it. The Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Hangman represents sacrifice. So is somebody sacrificing getting caught? Visiting? Summer? And is it the flute player? And mom and our grandma? I don't know if grandma smokes, but I think she does. We know mom does. I'm not sure about grandma. I don't know if the flute player does or not either. But my question was, who visit, who is visiting her? So they're sacrificing, getting caught visiting her. And this is who I'm coming up with. Be honest, I was expecting to see dad sign come up. But that was a preconceived notion on my part. So I don't know if the flute player was a smoker. I do not know that. Or if he is. But we don't know where he's at. We do know that mom smokes. Not, I'm not positive on grandma. I think she does, but I'm not positive on it. If you have any questions, comment, leave them in the comment section. If you don't feel comfortable, you can shoot me an email. I great, greatly appreciate those that have been helping me with birthdays on other people. If anybody has, um, oh, the Capricorn sign could be somebody else. A person that I don't mean to be cryptic on this, but there is a reason for it. Another Capricorn, but I don't think he's in the state, is the young man's father. Because if he was in why well, if he was in the state, why would he send people to pick up the young man? So there are like I said, there are some people that I don't have if anybody knows the sign for the man that grandma supposedly took to the Carolinas, 
if you could shoot that to me in an email I'd be gra grateful for it because I can't find his astrology sign to know if he's involved in any of this and the other person there's another person there is a person during the prayer vigils that I don't have his son either and I'm not talking about the younger person I'm talking about somebody that's a little bit older than him Whose initials happen to be JB? So if you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section. If you have information and don't want to put it in the comment section, you can email me. The email address is in the description box and it's also in my about section on the channel. Let's keep Summer's name out there. That's why I'm doing these videos, to keep Summer's name alive. We've got to find her. Hashtag bring Summer home. Let's say prayers for Summer Moon, Utah Wells. Let's keep her in our prayers. that something breaks in this case soon. I send much love and many blessings to each and every one of my subscribers and my followers and my viewers. If you don't already, hit the subscribe button notification bell. You never know when I'm going to put a video out. As always, I'll see you back here next time. Have a wonderful day.